Hello and welcome to your weekly insights to the cards. My name is Mika Leon Pettit and this is for the week of March 27th through April 2nd. Moon mansions are in Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. This week starts off with the need for change and spontaneity. It's a good time to do something different locally. Take a new route, talk to the friendly assistant in the store, or get to know your neighbor or neighborhood better. When you speak, speak from the heart so that others get to see your softer side, not just your intellect. By midweek, you may want to do more things closer to home and home cooking. Maybe spend time in your garden or yard can be more appealing. Your emotions are better balanced at this time, which makes your intuition more accurate. At the end of the week, it will feel like you want to be noticed for the work you have done while feeling that order is needed for you to have the attention you crave and the impact you are looking for. Remember, you are looking for improvement, not perfection. Moon Mansion energies are like internal drives and conscious awareness should be brought to them to utilize these energies effectively. The Oracle play. It's time to find the play in your everyday living and activities. Have you lost sight of what makes life fun and worth getting up in the morning for? It's beneficial now to distract yourself with something fun and playful. If feeling like life is fun has been a low priority for you because of more serious demands or pull on your time, it will help to lighten up at this time and let the flow of life handle it. Play is essential for a well-balanced life and wholeness. Astrogen number one, conjunctio on the 10th house. There's needs to clear communication between your inner and outer self when it comes to your career and what's their status in the world. This is the only way for others to understand what you stand for as well. This is not the time to be critical of yourself or others, but attention to details and how you are seen could be beneficial at this time. Just think before you act or speak to make sure your messages is not misunderstood or work against you. Hematite will make all communications more aligned and focused while boosting your self-esteem, willpower, reliability, and confidence. Astro Gem number two, Fortuna Major in the first house. It's all about shining your light and letting others see the real you, which can enhance your overall position in life, along with conjunctio being in the 10th house of status, career, and recognition. If you are not sure of redefining who you want to be, the energy is behind you now to make this clear to yourself and to others. It may not be the time to take action, but you are aligning your energies mentally and spiritually to work in your favor, which is more important than acting from a place of no energetic alignment. Show your big heart and the joyful aspects of your personality, which is enhanced by the oracle of play. Orange calcite balances the emotions and releases feelings of fear and anxiety. It is also believed to be a spiritual cleanser that changes perspective and renews commitment to making change. Crystal card, amethyst. Amethyst activates spiritual awareness, opens intuition, and enhances psychic abilities. Amethyst has a highly calming energy and a stone that is known to balance, soothe, and bring back your spiritual alignment. This is what flowed through, and I hope it helps you plan your week for the best possible outcomes.